Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to prevent users to take screenshot of your app. For example, this is the default Flutter application. And when the user wants to take the screenshot, a message is displayed saying that this action isn't allowed by the app. Sometimes your app displays some sensitive information about the user's account that you don't want the user to take the screenshot of. So for this, we are going to use this package called Flutter Window Manager. In this package, we can provide a flag based on which the package is going to prevent users to take the screenshot. This package only works for the Android operating system. And if you want to use the same option for iOS, you can use the secure application package for that. Inside this package, we have lots of flags and each flag functions differently. So you can go through these flags and see if they match the specifications of your application. For this video, we are going to focus on preventing users from taking the screenshot. So inside the Android Studio, we are going to add the package to our pubspec.yaml file. Next, we go to the main.dart and we import the package. Next, inside the init state, we are going to call a function prevent screenshot. And we're going to define the function here. And this function is a sync and await function. So because of this, we cannot directly implement this inside the init state. We need to do it as a separate function. And then we call it inside the init state. Inside this function, we have the flutter window manager dot add flags and we're going to add flutter window manager dot flag underline secure this flag is used to prevent the users to take the screenshot and that's basically all you need to do but if you have multiple pages inside your application you need to do this for each page and for each page you need to add the flag to the init state if you want to implement this inside the iOS, you can use the secure application package. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.